Someone, leave it. Go, go. Yo, who is he? Tell him to go back. Someone, someone, go, go. Go back. Yo, who's this guy, fam? Cool, this helping me. You cool, this helping me. If we get clocked, you're gonna go prison first. Instagram, Facebook, Snapchat. The Facebook, Instagram, Instagram, Twitter, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook. Why didn't they just leave? If you ever leave me, I'll kill the kids. Did they say anything back? I told you not to talk to me like that. I should beat you for getting too brave. They should have known better. I'm so sorry. I promise it will never happen again. You know I love you so much, right? They must have done something to deserve it. For more information, visit think.direct.gov.uk. Seeing the quiet kid come in and, 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 and within, within six months they they're a confident kid instead of being a shy kid. Not a flash kid, but they become confident. Um, they come, become respectable. You know, they've got nothing to prove. You know, they're doing their, letting their aggression go in the gym and doing any fighting they've got to do inside the ring rather than on the street. 
And it's nice to have the parents come up and, 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 and say to you afterwards, you know, what have you done to my son? You've changed him, you know. He was leery, he was always in trouble. Now all of a sudden he's, he's a nice, quiet, respectable kid. It ain't nothing we've done, it's what boxing does, you know. Boxing's a great sport for, for teaching kids discipline and respect. My name's Jabril Rose and I box for TKO Gym. Has the gym changed me since I've joined? I'd say as a person I'm a lot more disciplined, you know. Like when I was training before I was playing personal trainers, I was going to gyms where they don't really give you much sort of attentions. And um, I'd say that now I'm much more disciplined. I'd say like outside of the gym I go and I do what I need to do, you know. If they tell me I've got to go and do six runs a week, I go and do six runs a week. If I need to be doing sit-ups in the morning when I wake up and wake up early in order to do all of that sort of stuff, I do it. The future of food. Developments are continually being made to improve our way of eating. GMO, lab-grown food, 3D food printing, robotic chefs, indoor farming. The question is, are these actually positive developments? A single turkey cell could be used to manufacture 20 trillion turkey nuggets, but who wants to eat lab-grown food? It may save wages, but imagine not having any human interaction because a robot waiter is serving you. People are getting carried away with their big brains, mixing food with technology. I believe the future of food should involve sustainable resources that are 100% natural. This way your body will always be healthy. person isn't a thing, doesn't breathe, has no skin, not a woman, not a man. Has no heart, cannot stand, has no hair to be called the curse. You saw beauty, but it trapped you first. You saw a mirror, and you shouted curse. Other people's beauty is what we first. We refuse to refuse the lies. We try to ride with the tides, not rise above the tides. We follow our crowd. We are the crowd, crowded with fear of being seen. Imagine what you could have been if we saw the beauty in ourselves, not the image on the wall that says beauty is blonde, skinny, and white. Beauty is just a word. Like the flower upon the hill needs the sun in the day. The morning dew upon its petals shining. So beautiful is it not? The pink, yellow, orange, purple. The shine I cannot bear. The beauty I love, I need. The ugliness I cannot bear. If I get caught, would you pull me out? Would you save me from myself? Would you save me from a lie? Would you even get up to try? Am I already caught? Have the petals fallen from my flower? Its beauty is heavy, the image beauty. But your heart is breaking, your heart is aching. The lies, you are filled with flies. Your pollen is gone, your beauty is someone else's. Your beauty is wrong. Beauty is just a word. Then therefore you have lost all beauty depending on whether or not you know true beauty. So insecure, no one's perfect. Our beauty we deserve to be used there with, with no, no shame. shame. Lock it, like a cage. cage, change it, nothing gained. Our heart stuck as day. I, and, and when, when it's all gone, I'll, I'll try. try and sing you a nice song. Because we are all beautiful, like our own faults. You'll feel it. Beauty doesn't come from your mind, but from your heart. Your beauty is inside. Don't break it apart. Fix the parts. We are a part of a society. Truth be told, only in reality. You are the rare sincerity. Save that. Hold on to it like your humanity. Bless for that.
sometimes life doesn't seem worth living. It's difficult. It's a struggle to keep up with it. With the ever-growing and endless stress of school, work, financial issues, even war, injustice, and all that other bullshit, it drains all of our energy. So what's the point anymore? Sometimes the little moments of joy are worth living for. Like the moment you find an amazing new song. When you're dancing to your heart's content. When you're hanging out with your pet. Drawing. When you're messing about with your friends and family. Going for walks in nature. A gentle breeze in the summer. That moment a rainbow forms. Getting to see the city. Feeling the night air just relax you. Life won't always be amazing. It won't always be fun. But as long as you remember and appreciate the moments that make you happy, life won't seem so bad after all. Twenty thirty one. How will it be? Well, so far in fifteen years, we have achieved great progress in technology: the creation of the first smartphone, and with it, the appearance of virtual assistants like Siri and Google Home. Recently, self-driving cars were considered to be released in the customer market, and things that only appeared in movies and fiction, like VR and AR, are now an existing technology. But today, I'd like to focus on artificial intelligence. Currently, there's a new technology developing: a food store AI that sees what you buy, so you can check out faster. But wait, don't you guys think this is a bit much? In order to do this, the store recognizes your face and tracks every single movement you make. Also, to make Google Home or Amazon's Alexa work, you need to be constantly monitored. All of these requirements are our personal information, so where should we draw the line? Are we really ready to give up our privacy for these little perks? Hi, I'm Andrew and I'm going to try being a vegan for a couple of weeks. I think the hardest thing about being a vegan is just going to be not eating any meat, because I have it in most of my meals and uh, I don't know what I can substitute for it. That's a lot of green. Yeah, that's good. Go. So, what do you think? Holy <laughs> <laughs> It's like a... It's actually good.